She started with 60 pigs, but now has more than 300. Tyra Tabor took care of all those pigs for two and a half years and is finally letting them go. 17's Pro Shaheen has her story. When life gives you more than 300 pigs, you don't make bacon. Or at least, that wasn't the plan for one woman in Weldon. Tyra Tabor lives on a farm in Weldon with more than 300 pigs. And she's got a name for each and every one of them. It's been great. I've never been so happy in my life. <laughs> is having the pigs with me. I got three back. Not many people would be able to handle one of these rowdy animals, much less hundreds of them. But Tabor says she loves them like family. They mean everything to me. They're my heart. They're my whole world. <laughs> it started two and a half years ago when she began rescuing pigs from people who couldn't take care of them. I sold my house in the San Fernando Valley and bought this place to have pigs that needed homes, needed to be saved. But Tabor never wanted this many pigs. I'm mortally ashamed that it got so out of hand. This is not what was supposed to happen. You know, I envisioned that I would be able to take care of the ones I took on forever. She started with around 60 of them, but they quickly multiplied. I had the, the males and the females separate, and somehow, it's all questionable, the males got out and were in with the females, and that started, like, the problem. And so, at a point, it was either fix them or feed them. So, of course, it's going to be feed them, because that's immediate. Now, Tabor says she can no longer longer afford to take go, care of them. Go, it's going to be hard. But as long as I know they're okay, it's okay. <sighs> Some animal rescue organizations caught a whiff of this story and accused her of animal abuse. One posted her address online and told people to go steal the pigs. Others came to help. Well, I was told about the situation and I wanted to come out myself to evaluate what was going on here. Raina Solomon and her team from Angel and a Hummer and Heart Foundation respond to crises throughout the world. She's done her best with what she's been given to keep the pigs alive and she's done amazing, in my opinion. So I wanted to give her 100% support and make sure we ensure the safety and carried forward from what she's done. They rallied most of the pigs into trailers and took them to a ranch in San Diego. So we have the females going into one pa uh, pasture and the males going in another. We have vets coming out to spay and neuter and uh, immunize and take care of nutrition. They'll put the pigs up for adoption soon, but Solomon and her team need donations to keep the pigs healthy. We'll have information for helping out on our website at KGET.com. Perla Shaheen, 17 News.